showed him you never know. Never, never. You never knew. So my favorite quote of all time, or, or whatever it's called, passage, I guess, is uh, when Kobe uh, got hurt with Achilles, like the famous interviewer, he's, like cry he's basically crying, and you know it's like he just came back from his shoulder, he does not want to do this again, he's older, and he's sitting in the locker room at uh, the Spurs, I think, stadium mm -hmm. uh, arena, and mm -hmm. he's sitting there, and there's a quote in his locker, read the article, and it's basically, uh, there's a... I always want to get a tattoo of like a, this axe picker, but he's like, there's this axe picker and he's beaten at this humongous boulder and his goal is to break it apart. He hits it one time, two times, three times, not a dent goes by. He hits it a hundred times and nothing happens. And he hits it the hundred, hundred and first time and the whole thing busts open. Mm -hmm. And it says the wise man knows it was not the hundred and first blow that broke it. It was the hundred that came before it. And that, mm -hmm. it, that's what got me out of it. Like, like in the simplest form, Love it was that. having great people around me and that because Every single day, I did not, I, I, I made a plan, which is like first and foremost important. Like I had a goal, not in golf, a goal uh, of like how I was going to repair myself. But it was like every single day, I'm going to do something to get better and trust that even if I see zero results mm -hmm. for a long time, it will hit one day. And that's how it felt because it finally flipped and I like I almost like remember the day it flipped because it was finally like to, to your point about preparation then just like letting it happen mm -hmm. it finally started to feel less force and it finally just started to feel like okay like it, it just hit me like a ton of bricks this is just what you do now don't think back on the bad mm -hmm. like in a negative way just because you used to like that's gone like it all like flushed out of me Love it was that. very interesting but that quote was has meant the world to me because it made the most sense. And like for me too, like I'd be sitting in these shitty ass hotel rooms. Mm -hmm. uh, and like, I mean, I think that year, I mean, I made at least more money off the golf course, but I think on the golf course I made $18,008. And mm -hmm. it was a very low number. Cause I think even if you just like bare minimum each week, if you just make the cut, you make 10 grand. So it's hard to make 18 <laughs> yeah. grand. And uh, I was sitting there and I'm just sitting there like thinking, I was like, you used to be fucking good at this. Like yeah. what happened to you? And you lose your identity a little too. Huge. But I was sitting there, I was thinking about not just like golf or sports. I was thinking about like my little sister or people that are struggling. I know tons of people are struggling. My parents, you know, grind like it, it's life's tough. Yeah. And it was just like, I was like, okay, I'm going to be the beacon of hope. I'm going to show people that you can hit your quote unquote rock bottom mm -hmm. and you are going to figure out how to get out of it by being a little better every single every day, day until forever. And like that helped me, but that's also what I did not do well when I was playing bad. It goes back to the green lights McConaughey book is like, I could have looked back on what I was doing bad and not learned a lot. I learned a lot from when I was doing good because mm -hmm. the bad, I mean, I, I, I know what I was doing. I was, I was still working hard, but I wasn't taking care of my mentals. I was not, I was not focusing <laughs> on the, see, this is, this is the highlight Steve, of my day. Steve loves you. I was not, I was not like vibing the right aspects of what you need to do to actually improve because everyone's going to struggle. So it's like, can you release, like, can you let it go? There's a story about, um, I won't mention his name. I don't know if he, not that he would care, but there's a golfer and he had a really bad loss one time and he gets on his plane and his whole family's there and his team or whatever. And they're all like distraught. Like it was awful. And, um, he gets on, everyone's like blue in the face. He goes, what's wrong guys. And you know, they're all like, yeah, you know, it's obviously like, you're going to be okay. He's like, guys, we're going to win the next one. Like, I'm not really that worried about it. And he like, he released it. Like it was gone so fast. Mm. Cause what can you do? Like, and that's the truth. Like what could he have done? He can't change what happened, but you can get ready for the next one. Easier said than I, done. But. Boy, do I have books for you. <laughs> <laughs> I just covered three books in that, in that monologue. You ready?